HIV and AIDS is a human problem. It doesn't matter your sexuality, it doesn't matter your class or your education. HIV and AIDS is impacting our community. There are many factors that influence our challenges to address HIV, like income inequality, homophobia, racism, and the inability to have healthy conversations around sexual health. Having grown up in African-American communities, one knows the specter of death from an early age, of too many African-Americans who are dying early, often of, quote unquote, cancer or blood disorders. At Wake Forest, we talk about our motto, pro humanitate, for humanity, that our enterprise for educating leaders is not just for the sake of learning. We are doing the work that we do here for humanity. Not some of humanity, but all of humanity. I think the opportunity is to begin to meet faith communities where they are, listen to their stories, and for us to become a part of their story so that we can then begin together to tell a new one. Gilead has had a long-standing commitment to equity particularly health equity, and has devoted significant resources to working with impacted communities around the world. The Gilead Compass Initiative is a 10-year, more than $100 million commitment to address HIV in the Southern United States. With Gilead's help, the Wake Forest University School of Divinity is shifting the narrative and erasing HIV stigma through education, grant making, and storytelling. Compass Initiative understands that if we really want to curb the negative impact of HIV and AIDS, we have to engage with LGBTQ activist organizations, we have to engage with communities of faith, with other health organizations, people who are doing the heavy work of human services. And in the same ways that we have untethered certain diseases and illnesses from logics of sin, like cancer, we can do the same with HIV and AIDS. HIV and AIDS affects all of us. It's hard to imagine that there are faith communities that have not been touched by this disease. Stigma is a root cause of HIV, and we know that sharing stories makes a big impact. We are building the capacity of faith communities to talk about HIV in a new way. When we're able to walk into any African-American church in the South and see that they are addressing HIV and AIDS in the same ways as they currently do diabetes screenings or blood pressure screenings right now in their health ministries, I know that we've made a difference. <laughs>